Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Paris Justice. If you're new, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And today, I am coming on here to show you guys five lock styles that you can do with short locks. So, let's go ahead and get into the video. I will be using rubber bands during this process. And with this, you have to make sure that your rubber bands are like super stretchy. Because if they're not, they're going to pop and you're going to be mad because they broke. Okay? Like, yeah. I'm just going to keep it back. Because, you know, when you have lots, you got to make sure things is together and all of that. But you don't want to do it too tight because then you're going to pull your edges and your edges going to come out and you know your locks going to start thinning. That's another way you can thin your locks. The first style, you wear your hair down like this if you want to. I like to wear my hair down like this because I like the freedom of it. Like I just like to feel free when I wear my locks down. So this is style number one. Style number two is the half up, half down. Some people like to call this the pineapple because you know when you put your hair up it look like a pineapple at the top and then you just got the rest down. But this is actually called a half up, half down. So for the third hairstyle um, I'm going to do space buns. I like to call them space buns. So basically what you do is you split your hair down the middle halfway, right? And then you take one section and the rubber band and tie it. And if it's not too tight, tie it again. And then you basically take the rubber band, put it over the ponytail, and uh, you have a space bun or a messy space bun, but you just, you know, adjust it so that it's right. It's not gonna look its best, but that doesn't matter. So you take the other side of the halfway and you basically do the same thing over here. If it's not too tight, I would prefer that you you know, tie it two times. Okay, this one is a little messy, but you know, you just adjust it if you have to. I'm holding it back so that you guys can see how it's supposed to look. But you adjust it if you have to, and this is basically what the space frames look like. The next style is the two pigtails. It's basically what you do. It's basically what you do with the space bones, but you just let the rest of the hair out in a ponytail. So, it's already split down the middle from the space bun. So, I tie it once, tie it twice, and this I would do like three times because the pulling on my hair doesn't affect me because I know what is too tight. Now, if I would have tied it again, that would have been too tight. And that is what the two ponytails look like. The bun, half up, half down. So, then we go here. And then we do that. Now, the only reason this worked is because I tied it once instead of tying it twice. I was thinking about doing it twice but I was like no if I'm going to fit and actually look like a bun at the top I have to tie it one time so this is the bun those are some of the styles that you can do with short like I have already gotten like two different styles since I've had my locks in the past year it's been cool like before when I had my locks I didn't do a lot of styles because I was just starting my locks and you know I really wanted to be careful with like fucking with my hair but more so now my hair is more about styling than it is worrying about how much product to put in it and all of that because that was my first mistake when I had my first set of locks 
I was like a product junkie. I'm like, yeah, okay, I gotta use this. Cause I was really like looking up YouTube videos to see what kind of stuff people was using in their locks and stuff like that. And I mean, I'll tell you, I went through products. So when I started this set, I was like, I know exactly what it is I wanna use. I started out with the Tropical Roots. If you go to my YouTube videos where I'm talking about OS, OSR, um, Lock Gel, and Tropical Roots. If you go to that video, I'll tell you guys the difference between the both of them because I actually use OLS Lock and Gel. Mm -mm. And then I used that and I was like, okay, yeah, I like that. So I could understand why, you know, Daisy was using that product. But then I got to switching products again because my dudes, because my dudes, she do my locks. And she was basically like, you know, you need something a little bit stronger to hold your locks. I'm like, I right, bet. So we go to Walmart and we get the olive oil gel styling gel. Because I heard olive oil gel styling gel, like, is the shit with your locks. But, you know, what works for other people don't work for everybody. And that's what I had to learn. Um, so we ended up just strictly using styling gel. You know, there's different aspects for different people. I use styling gel in my hair. It votes for me for some reason. Like, they say don't use styling gel, but it votes for me. And so we end up using styling gel and oil. I recently went back to the African Pride oil that y'all seen me using during my first month and my second and third month. Yeah, and then that's when I had switched the oils out and I was switching them out. But now I'm back to the African Pride um, oil. Y'all can go to one of these videos. If I find a video, I'm going to put it up here and y'all can see why I was talking about the African Pride oil. And y'all can see all the oils and stuff that I switched out of. Because I got videos for those too. So, yeah, but like, this time around, it's more so like, I'm putting styles in my hair to kind of protect my hair instead of putting so much product in my hair. And I'm fooling with that. Like, I like that. So, it's cool. I just recently came up out of a style and you know I just kind of want to relax but I told you guys like in a video I don't remember what video it was but I told you guys like there be times where I won't style my hair and I think I told y'all um month 11 I would style and month 12 month 11 I wouldn't style and month 12 I would something like that but I remember saying like February I was going to style but March I wasn't and I didn't because the style that I had in my hair, if y'all go look at my pipe cleaners video, I'm going to put that up there too, if y'all go look at my pipe cleaners video, that style lasted from February 19th which is my birthday to the end of to the like, beginning of April in the month. So I didn't have a style in my hair for the whole month of March because that style lasted. And I told you guys, the only way y'all gonna be able to see my hair is when I drop it. So it finally, you know, kind of dropped. Y'all can see what it looked like. Like, I am loving it. Like, my second set of locks was an issue, but, like, for real. Like, I noticed, like, some of the cake build up from the styling gel, but I'm cool with that. Like, yeah, I'm loving my locks. But, like, they are everything to me. Like, everything, bruh. I can't wait a month 11 and kind of tell y'all what I want for month 12 because month 11 was just ridiculous, but okay, that thing was crazy. And y'all kind of get a gist of all of that in um, 
my where I've been video because I made a where I've been video because I ain't been on here in a minute. So I made a video of you know where I've been and all of that. But I really, really want to talk to y'all about month 11 and this journey with my hair, bro. Like this journey with my hair has been amazing. Like I love it. Like. I'm just spewing with confidence when it comes to this hair. Like, I fucks with it. I just gotta work on this. Like, my face is an issue because I don't be drinking water. I need to drink water, okay? But, yeah, you guys. We and Lily got for the next video. You should have liked, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'm gonna see y'all. Alright? This y'all.